Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. It seems it's not just the graphics Capcom is changing for Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, as they no longer reward you for taking photos of women's underwear. For publishers, the obvious appeal of remasters is that it's relatively easy money, overhauling an already existing, and usually much loved, game with nothing more than slightly updated graphics. To be fair to Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, there seems to be more work being done to the visuals than normal, perhaps because the game has already had one remaster, but the one problem with reselling an old game is that sometimes certain aspects don't age well. Even back in 2006, the idea of taking photos of women in compromising positions, for extra points, was considered pervy, but now it's apparently so far beyond the pale that Capcom is taking it out entirely. Since protagonist Frank is a photojournalist, and a fairly sleazy one at that, in the original Xbox 360 game, you could earn bonus PP, prestige points, for taking certain categories of photograph. These categories were brutality, violence, horror, zombies and gore, outtake, images of zombies looking silly, and erotica, photos of women's underwear or cleavage. It was nothing pornographic, and it did have the excuse of Frank's background and personality, but it was eyebrow-raising even then, and it's not surprising Capcom has decided to take it out now, while keeping the other photo categories. The information comes via a new preview by Famitsu in Japan, which makes it very clear, in red text, no less, that, this version does not include the erotica rating point that was present in the original version. Although the game is clearly labeled as a remaster, that word is becoming increasingly misused even by publishers, and this seems to be essentially a full remake, as it now uses the RE engine for graphics and has modernized controls, a revamped interface, and a more traditional save system. New Nintendo Switch 2 cartridge patent seems to prove backwards compatibility. GTA 6 has not been delayed, as Take 2, confirmed 2025 release date. Nintendo Switch 2 has two fans, as Component Leak suggests much more powerful console. Warner Brothers makes it clear it's learned nothing from Suicide Squad flop. What it doesn't have is original voice actor Terrence J. Rotolo, although it's not clear who is voicing Frank in the new version. Despite never being one of Capcom's biggest sellers, there have been four mainline Dead Rising games so far plus a remake of Dead Rising 2 starring Frank, who was not originally the protagonist of the first sequel. This new remaster is presumably an attempt to gauge interest in a new game, while also being inspired by the success of the Resident Evil remakes. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster will be released digitally on September 19 on Xbox Series X-S, PlayStation 5, and PC, with a physical version promised for November. Email GameCentral at Metro.co UK, leave a comment below, follow us on Twitter, and sign up to our newsletter. To submit inbox letters and readers features more easily, without the need to send an email, just use our submit stuff page here. For more stories like this, check our gaming page. More, new Nintendo Switch 2 cartridge patent seems to prove backwards compatibility. More, PS5 hits huge sales milestone in the UK, but it's not selling as fast as PS4. More, Nintendo Switch 2 has two fans, as Component Leak suggests much more powerful console. Sign up to all the exclusive gaming content, latest releases before they're seen on the site.